Hi, sweetlings! It's me again, Yuli. Last month, we've been talking about working from home, how you can start or what are the things that you need to do for you to start working from home, how you can earn money online. I also gave examples on how you can earn money online and in one of my videos, the examples that I gave to you guys is by monetizing your audience. Start a blog, podcast, social medias, and start a YouTube channel. Para sa kaalaman ng lahat, I'm also a certified social media manager and we've been trained on how we can monetize a YouTube channel or how to manage a YouTube channel well. But before we start, shout out mo na kina. sa mga baguhan pa lang sa YouTube channel ko. Seriously, started focusing on my YouTube channel last year lang, 2020, March to be exact. And na-monetize ko yung channel ko last year, din, December 2020. To be honest guys, even though um, trained ako with social medias, how you can manage social medias, especially monetizing YouTube, it will take time. For some, it took years for them to monetize their YouTube channel. Especially right now na madaming nag-hop sa YouTube and gustong mag-start ng YouTube channel. Madami kang competition like artista, companies, brands. They have all these resources para madaling ma-monetize nila yung YouTube channel nila. But for us na small YouTuber, walang resources, Gagawin talaga natin yung mga pwedeng gawin para ma-monetize natin yung YouTube channel natin. In today's video, I'm going to share to you guys my knowledge on how YouTube algorithm works. Noon daw, ang algorithm daw ng YouTube ay uh, binibase nila kung how many uh, subscribers you have for your channel. But right now, YouTube algorithm follows where the audience goes. Now, it depends on the overall analytics of the video once you upload the video on your YouTube channel. Last year, when the pandemic happened, cray-cray yung YouTube algorithm. Um, may maraming delays. And dahil sa pandemic, migpit din yung rules ni YouTube on how they review each of our videos once we upload it to our YouTube channel. Last year din, may madaming nadagdag, may madaming naumit sa YouTube analytics. The features on our YouTube studios, madami ding nagbago. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification bell para kapag may bagong video ako, ikaw yung unang makakita. Now, let's go back to the topic on how really, you know, YouTube algorithm works. So, um, so YouTube, once you type the certain keywords, YouTube will find the right video for you. And binabasi nila yan sa mga search history mo. And ano yung mga videos na nire-recommend nila sa inyo. And hindi ninyo pinapanood. So they're trying to keep you watching more videos sa YouTube. So the more videos you watch sa YouTube, the more ads yung nakukuha nila or nabibenta nila. But for you to monetize your YouTube channel, madami ka pong tapat gawin. Siguro naman by now, if you want to start a YouTube channel, syempre sinicheck nyo on how you can monetize your YouTube channel. You need to reach the 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours public views. Since 2021 na ngayon, I'm going to share to you guys the things that you need to update or the things that you need to review for your channel para ma-monetize yung YouTube channel mo and para mas papaganda mo pa yung YouTube analytics ng YouTube channel mo. Inanarate ko lang po kung ano yung mga dapat mong gawin. Bibigay po ako ng example but I will discuss each of these more on my future videos. So if you're new here to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. First is you need to optimize your YouTube channel. I think I've discussed this on my past videos. But yung pinakita kong YouTube studio noon, hindi siya gaya ngayon ano, na madami ng updates. So, I will discuss this more on my future video. But if you want to know a little bit about how you can optimize your YouTube channel, I will put an i card here and click that if you want to watch. Second is your YouTube thumbnail. I made this video also last year but I'm not I'm not really happy with that video. <laughs> but I give points there. I give um, tips. Also put iCard if you want to know more. But I will make another video on this. Everything that you need to know. How to edit your thumbnail. How you can, What are the things that you need to consider. Like 
the essential like the juiciest details that you need to do now the third is i think by far this is the most important detail that you need to improve into review by taking note on how much time people spend to watch your youtube videos you can see this by checking on your youtube analytics dito mo po makikita kung saan banda ng videos mo nawalan sila ng gana manood and dito mo din makikita kung saan banda ng videos mo dapat mo you know i-improve fourth tip is how many likes dislikes comments or yung engagement ng mga audience mo sa mga videos mo The fifth is, gaano nakatagal yung mga videos na pinapanood ng mga audience mo sa YouTube channel mo. Ito po yung snowball na nangyayari. Once they like one of your videos, you successfully get them to engage or get them to watch your video. Na-entertain sila sa videos mo, nakuha mo yung loob nila, they will watch your past videos. Like, your past past video. Now, the sixth part is, how often you upload videos on your YouTube channel. May iba na twice a week, may iba na three times a week, may iba na every day, like daily vlogs, ganun. May iba din na once a month, but I don't really recommend you guys uploading once a month kasi mawala yung interest ng mga subscribers mo sa mga videos mo. And sometimes malilimutan nila na nagsubscribe pala sila sa YouTube channel mo. Seven is, ano yung niche ng YouTube channel mo? Ano yung prefer mong gawin? Or ano yung gusto mong gawin for your YouTube channel? Ano yung mga topic na gusto mong i-discuss or i-share sa mga subscribers mo? If you don't know how to pick a niche or niche for your YouTube channel, I have one video where I share to you guys how you can properly pick a niche or niche for your YouTube channel. I'll put the i-card on top. If you're interested, click that to watch. Number eight is, Always, always share your videos to your social medias. After you upload your videos to your YouTube channel, might as well share it to your other social media accounts like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If my TikTok account ka, share mo din doon. This is also a great way for you to send traffic to your YouTube channel for them to get to watch and for them to subscribe. You need to make it a habit. Every time you upload new videos to your YouTube channel, share it to your social media accounts. Number nine is see what works for your YouTube channel and repeat. This is also the reason why I keep on making work from home videos, how you can make money online or start a business online, and videos about Hillerage kasi ito po yung nag-work sa YouTube channel ko at nag-gain ng madaming engagement. Lahat po ng mga sinabi ko dito, makikita mo po yan sa YouTube analytics mo. And if you're a small YouTuber, I highly recommend you guys visit your YouTube Creator Academy and study the YouTube SEO, your YouTube analytics. So I think that's all for today's video. If you have any any additional information, suggestions, and questions, leave a comment below. If you're new here to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up. Click the notification bell for on my next video. Ikaw yung unang makakakita. Bye, sweetlings. Take care. Please follow my other social media accounts for you to get a chance to be featured on my next video. Leave a comment below for your questions and suggestions or take a screenshot of that comment, share it on your Instagram story, and tag me. Thank you so much for watching my video and see you guys on my next video. Bye sweetlings, take care!